The war on statues has opened up a brand new front. As we told you yesterday, activists in California are targeting a statue of, of all people, President William McKinley. They claim his policies have harmed Native Americans. He certainly won't be the last American targeted this way. Madison Flynn is a member of the Wyatt Tribal Council in California, and she joins us tonight. Madison, thanks for coming on. Hi, um, thank you for having me. It's pronounced Wyatt. Oh, I beg your I beg your pardon. Well, I stand corrected and informed. So, of all the statues to prominent Americans, why does this statue offend the Wyatt tribe? It offends the Wyatt um, people because it, uh, the representation of that era. Um, I don't know if you're familiar with the Wyatt um, history, but there they were the ancestral people of the Arcata territory. Uh -huh. um, where the McKinley statue is at, and they had a, a massacre that wiped out majority of the Wiat people during, um, during 1860. So, I mean, just, and then McKinley also, uh, he, although he was never there in Humboldt County, his um, actions that he did while as president severely affected the Native Americans throughout the United States. So in the 1860s, McKinley, of course, was fighting slavery as a member of the Union Army for three and a half years. That's, I think we both agree, a virtuous thing. He was president uh, for a term in a very short period. What did he do specifically to hurt the Wiat tribe? So that's the thing. He, he, wasn't, he doesn't have any significance to, uh, to the Wiat people, but where the statue is at is the issue. The statue where he is located at in the Arcata Plaza was used as a... Um, an auction, an auctioning block for Native, Native Americans, especially for Native American youth or Wiat youth. And yeah, it was more like a human trafficking er era. Well, that's awful. Area. I mean, I'm not for that, but that didn't happen, obviously, during the time that he was president um, because there was no slavery, of course, by uh, his presidency, partly because of the actions that he took as a Union soldier. Um, and so you can see that he had nothing to do with any of that. So why go to the time and expense to take his statue down? I'm I'm, conf I'm, I'm sure there are people whose statues might be but, offensive, but why him? But the where the statues at represents the human trafficking area of the Wiat youth of that time, and where the his statues at represents that. And so and also after his presidency, um, the the ox the slavery went on after his presidency. It's just a, it it represents an a bad time for the Wiat people regardless and I think it's time for his removal of his statue to um, put up something that represents the Wiat people since that is their ancestral land and that's where they come from. So just having anything that I mean this is so mindless it's hard to track I want to take this seriously I mean your name for example is Madison Madison owns slaves should you change your name? Well, you should ask my parents uh, about my name. Well, I don't know. You can change it if you... I mean, look, I like your name. I'm not attacking your name in any way. I'm merely saying that there are certain historical figures whose presence would be offensive. I, I get it. I'm not discounting the idea of it, but I've asked you to explain and given you time on TV to explain what specifically about this guy warrants tearing down his statue on behalf of a people, half of whom live below the poverty line. There are a lot of problems you could be dealing with. This doesn't seem directly related to any of them. It seems like a, a massive waste of time when you could be improving the lives of the WIAC community, but you're not. Why? This is this is going to. I mean, this is a uh, is going to represent a healing process with the removal of the McKinley statue. Okay. I mean, the, so do you think that people will live longer, happier lives? That I don't know. The 17 percent of the WIACs who are unemployed will get jobs. I mean, do you really think that? I mean, it could be telling. I mean, the the healing process takes a long time. Okay. Well, I you know, hope you're right. Like, Obviously, I'm rooting for you. I just it, it there's just seems generational trauma that happens. So, right. it it's time for that. That he's had he's had a good run. How about, he didn't do anything wrong way. though. So, <laughs> I mean, okay, yeah, whatever. He, it's all so crazy. He, he, well, he didn't do anything out of time. in Humboldt County. Okay. So. Nice to see you, Madison. Thank you.